Okay, today I'm going to um, install a MOSFET on my uh, P90 uh, version 6 gearbox. Uh, this is the new assembly I got. I was having some problems with the other one, and uh, I finally located a, a Maruti one. And um, so I'm going to do that today. I'm going to try to fit it in as best I can. So uh, I'm just going to use a little MOSFET chip. Um, this one is a 1404Z MOSFET. And um, a couple other things you'll need besides that chip is um, you need, uh, let's see here, uh, one 100 ohm and uh, another one between 22 and 30, uh, 30k ohm resistors. So you just need one of each. And then uh, once you got it all said and done, it should pretty much look like this right here. So you got one resistor right here, one on top. And uh, I got it uh, heat shrunk just to kind of protect it from... Uh, um, you know, shorting and stuff. I actually got a, an active braking chip on the back also to help with uh, with it um, starting a new cycle. And um, so that's pretty much what it looks like. Uh, I got a little schematic here. I downloaded this uh, off the internet. So I don't know if you guys can just pause that right there. Just kind of show you pretty much how to how to wire it up. And uh, so the way I'm going to do it, kind of drew it out a little bit right here. So the way I'm going to do this thing here is I'm going to take one, I'm going to take uh, from the power on the motor, I'm going to um, directly connect that to one of the trigger contacts, and then directly from this trigger contact, I'm going to go directly into the fuse, and then exactly straight from out of the fuse will connect directly to the battery so the battery connects directly to the motor and the other end of the motor is going to go to the center pin of uh, the MOSFET which is the drain and then um, the other trigger contact is going to go um, straight directly into uh, the 100 ohm resistor and then into the ground or into the gate uh, connection on the the MOSFET chip. And uh, the last connection of uh, the MOSFET chip just goes directly to the battery. So, I mean, when you think about it, it's really not that hard. You're only going to get one extra wire if you wire it this way. And, um, you know, one extra wire is really, really not too bad. So, let's see if we can uh, do this fairly quick. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I got the power right here. This is the power wire. And uh, the power wire right now is on this side, but uh, this wire right here goes directly to the battery, it's positive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this wire off of this side, connect it directly to here, and that'll link uh, the positive engine directly to the battery through the fuse and into the battery. So um, hopefully that'll, that'll do it. Okay, so um, what I did here real quick was uh, I went ahead and cut the, the ground wire coming from um, the, the battery connector right here. I spliced it so that half of it's right here. comes just, just close enough up here to, uh, to wire the chip. And then um, as one end comes, this end comes from the motor and the other end's coming from uh, or going to the battery connector so I just went ahead and clipped it right there it's just one piece so uh, the battery end is going to go on the outside and uh, the, the motor negative is going to go to the center and then uh, the outer one is going to be uh, a trigger so uh, let's go ahead and scoot this um, where we were at before we're going to scoot this, um, this hot over Okay, I've got my iron nice and hot, so I'm going to come in and warm this guy up and pull this wire off and try not to let the other wire pop up. Oh, and there it goes, trying to pop up. Just leave it there. we got to actually put another one on there in a minute. So now I'm just going to bend this up a little bit, a little bit of solder on my tip. I'm going to try to melt this guy into this guy.
Ooh, that's hot. Okay. You can see how it's shiny. So that's the way you want it. You really don't want it too too dull. So now we got the, the power on the engine going connecting to this side right here and then this is the, the power line going directly into the fuse. So this is connecting perfectly and we also need one of the trigger contacts into power. So you kill uh, two birds right there with one stone and you don't get any extra wire. So now what you got to do now is one of these, this other contact right here needs to go to one of the pins on the MOSFET chip. So I've already pre-cut a little wire. Clean off my tip. Get a little bit of solder on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect this over here. Try to get it a little bit there. Connect this guy with this. Push this one back down. Oh, that's hot. Okay, so we got this one secured. So hopefully that'll be long enough to reach. And then now pretty much all we got to do is just connect the three wires and we're done. MOSFET chip right here. So this wire right here is the trigger contact and that goes connects to this guy right here. I usually use a little bit of this to um, to tin the wire and then all the um, tin sticks right to it. Oh yeah, much better. I shouldn't have no problem with that sticking. Got that guy on good. And this is um, this is one's going to the uh, coming from the motor. So the motor one goes into the center. That one goes into the center. And then directly from the battery. goes directly to the battery. Now I am doing this just real quick because I'm going to put some heat shrink tubing on these. And uh, but all in all that's that's pretty much it. So I just snug that guy down there, tuck the fuse, tuck the fuse in there, slide that in. All this is going to get taped up though, you do not want any of these connections touching anything. And um, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So, I mean, really not, not too messy, using all the, the same wires, takes up a little bit more space, you know, you can re rewire it how you like. Just kind of like the rough concept. So, um, hope that helps you out. And, uh, there's that schematic one more time. Hope that helps you guys out.